For today's spotlight, we have Tavuni Point? Tavuni Point? Tavuni? Tavauni. Well, however it's pronounced, Tavuni Point coming at you hot today. This was suggested to me by somebody in the community. My apologies, I do not know who made this, and I could not find it anywhere listed on the TGC Tours, so I'm unsure of other courses created by this designer. If anybody knows who it is, or also knows any other courses made by the designer, make sure to leave them in the comments so that people can go check out their work. But let's head out, give this course a play, and get started with this course spotlight video. Here we are at hole number one. Let's take a look at the course just so you can get a feel for it. A very, very unique course. Very, very tight landing spots, and sometimes you are forced into using partial shots quite a bit. So it's a very, very big challenge for a course. Uh, you're, you guys will see. It, it, it was a lot of fun playing this, though. So I'm excited to, to show it off to you all now. It's just one big ol' island. It's a lot of fun, though. Shorter, a shorter course, for sure. Very enjoyable. Very pretty. Give us a good kick. Woo, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Look at these greens. <laughs> Look at these greens. Gotta be on your A game here. It's a good thing we haven't been for weeks. At least we got to sit there. Whew. All right. I can't remember what I shot here the first time. I think it was uh, like a plus one. Plus one or plus two, I believe I shot here the first time I played this. Bye bye ball. Oof. It's probably like sand traps too big, not gonna be on the TGC tours or something. See, this is one of those where it's like, man, really should partial shot this, because look at this green we're coming into. I'd rather not be doing that from the sand trap. Look at that thing go. Uh, probably should have three wooded it honestly to get a little bit more height on it. You know what? No, I don't want to be that short. God dang it. You know, it definitely doesn't help with this course if you can't. You know, hit good approach shots. You're not going to go anywhere. Oh my me, just pulling it a solid four inches to the left. Oh. Which do you do? Huh? Which do you do? Do you bring it up here? Do you go for it? <laughs> Which do you do? I know what I'm gonna do. And we cane it. But that's okay. 
<laughs> we can still bring it up here. We can still bring it up here. Up and down. Yes, good speed. Settle, 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 settle. Nice. Let's get our birdie and get the hell out of here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Our first birdie of the day. Let's bring it in here nicely, please. Gentle. Or slow the hell out of it. Should still sit on the dance floor. It's gonna be a long putt, but... At least we'll have a chance. Take our par. We'll take our par, we'll move on. Which one do you do? Which one do you do? Do you keep it up? Give you a little bit more elevation coming into the green, or do you keep it down and play it safe? We're gonna play it safe. I'm gonna fast this because I just don't wanna flirt with that over to the right. At all. Oh, and I hit a dreaded straight ball. This ball's gone. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> it's been fun. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. That's a little bit better of a shot than what I was looking for. Ah, that's a bummer. Let's see if we can make birdie, though. It's real fast. Real fast, let's make a birdie. Uh-oh, only 101. All right, this is a blow pull now. This is a blow pull. Welcome. Welcome to the blow pull, everybody. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. This is what happens at courses like this. Too hard? Oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay, not too bad of a blow up hole. Whew. I could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot, a lot, a lot worse. Oh boy. That thing snuck in, too. Look at it. It just barely ugh, drops in. Just sneaks into the cup there. Another partial that we're going to have to play here. Don't even want to flirt with any of that bunker up there. Rough. No, thank you. Just got to get up. Got up enough. It got up enough. Yeah, I ended up breaking a little bit too far left. We'll take our par, though. This should be all right. As long as we didn't slow it, this should make it up to front side green. Yes, it does. 
it's gonna come in there very nicely. All right. Let's get this. We'll move on to the ninth. Try to get her to two under before the turn. Oh, God. Ooh. Almost missed that. <laughs> that could have that been so terrible. If I would have missed it, that would have been... Uh... Yeah, that would have been hell. That's not going to make it up. Oh, that's a bummer. You're just going to play this sucker up in there. 105, does it get there? No, a little short. That's all right, we'll splash this up close. And get our birdie rolling. When the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes, bam, bam, bam. I don't know why that song just got... just catapulted into my mind. We get to our two under, though. Time to check out the bank nine. More likely, this course probably wouldn't be approved for the TGC Tours. There's a lot of things in here that they definitely don't like um, on the tours. Uh, I'm not sure why, but... I don't know if this course would be approved for a facet of reasons. Like the more I the more I played it, this is the second time I've played it. The more I played it, and more that I just know the courses that we get on the TGC tours. I could see this not being one that they would approve. Like, one of the things that probably doesn't play... Ooh, another nice putt. Probably doesn't play in all types of wind conditions, which they usually like. There's a couple of holes, like, if you had a wind in your face, you probably wouldn't be able to make it. Even if you were using shorter clubs, you wouldn't be able to make it, too. would be another thing. Like, this would be hard if you were using, like, a, a standard, like, base driver. Some holes don't have, you know, rough in between the bunkers. There's inconsistencies, although, you know, I think those inconsistencies happen quite a bit in the real world, but it's just one of those things, another one of those things that they just don't quite like in the courses that they prove. Damn. I hate chipping out a bunker, but this is too easy not to. We at least get our par. Also, not every course that's on the TGC Tours uh, is good in my eyes, and not every course that isn't on the TGC, TGC Tours is bad. I mean, this is one of those courses, I really like this course. I think it's really well done, really well thought out. Uh, a lot of great shots need to be made for you to have a great round. Uh, just because it's not one that we... I mean, we probably won't see it on the TGC Tours doesn't mean that it can't be a great course by itself. Oh, uh, this is unlucky. We are going to have to just splash this out. And hopefully play this in close for our par. God dang it. Ooh, we plugged that one. Oh, Bogey it is. Damn. Back to two under. 
Wouldn't you help us here? A little bit of frame lag there. A lot of water that they're bringing in. Just look at this hole, though. I mean, look at it coming in here. I don't know. I just think that this is just... Beautifully crafted. Even the way that, like, this is all, you know, wood under here, but they have, it like, the like the sand, like, you know, water has come in and, like, left sand behind that's, like, covered up the wood. I don't know, man. It's just, this course is so wonderfully crafted, I think, that it cannot be denied. Jesus, drop it in the hole. Oof. Oh, it's just a touch too long. Damn. A touch too long. I work. Try to get it up here real nice and tight into this fairway. Touch it fast, but it'll still play all right. Oh, God, that's bad. That was a terrible fast. Well, that's all right. We still save a part. <laughs> Just scrambling madmen right now. Freaking Pirate's Cove right here. Looks so natural, no one can tell with just a touch of fast gel. Hey, at least we stayed on the green. You know, sometimes you gotta look at the bright side of life. Stay the course. Nice. A rare birdie. A rare birdie. Oh, boy. Kind of a rock in a hard place no matter what we do here. Too much. Yeah, I thought the wind was going to carry it too far. And it did. Do a little layup here. Get up to this next tier. Hopefully get ourselves a birdie. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Another birdie in the books. Back to back. Here we are. So what do you do? 101 feet down. Does it get there? Should you risk it? I don't know. I don't know. Wind's picking up some. 
I think I'm gonna hit this three wood down. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Isn't that unfortunate? Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Isn't. Isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is a true bullet blow up hole here. Oh boy. Oh, I would have liked that. Triple bogey. Oh my gosh. Oh, fudge. <laughs> hey, can we go out though? Listen, hey, listen, listen, listen. Can we go out, though, on a birdie? Wouldn't that be good? Look at this. Get in the hole, even. Oh, man. Oh, come back. Oh, we go out on a birdie. Two under. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. A two under? Sure. You know, it's not bad for this this uh, for this for course, I feel like. But there you have it. Davuni point. Go give it a play. Definitely worth your time. Extremely challenging for those looking for the challenge, but also a lot of fun. And you definitely, it definitely puts you into a position of working on things you know that maybe you wouldn't normally. Shot shaping and a lot of partial driving, stuff like that. Go give it a play, go check it out. Thank you for stopping by today though. I greatly appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, again, make sure to leave a like on it. Think about subscribing if you haven't yet. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we will catch you on the next one.